I want to continue the topic on microcontroller. Why, as a hobbyist, need to learn about uh, at least uh, programming microcontrollers. And I mentioned here that uh, in my introductions, uh, you can make use of the um, most popular microcontroller in the world, which is the Intel 8051 core, the 8-bit microcontroller that was designed by Intel way back in the early 90s. Example of a microcontroller, our subject matter. The package is DIP or drawing line package. This is a 40 pins microcontroller. The Intel 8051, as its name implies, is developed and first manufactured by Intel, Intel Corporation. And the latest one is uh, the Arduino platform. Programming a microcontroller is in the sense that you can be able to make use of the logic of microcontroller to control external devices. For example, my playground is about amplifiers, so I wanted to make use of a microcontroller to control the speaker protector, to control the automatic power on switch. Let's say, for example, I want to make a timer that will switch off the power amplifier after one and a half hours then the best way to do that is not to make use of the 555 timer IC but to make use of the microcontroller nowadays uh, we can see that the um, uh, hobbies in electronics are keep changing way back um, as compared way back uh, 10 years ago um, now we got it comes with the uh, modular form factor as a plug and play like those so-called uh, breakout words or shields uh, mentioned earlier in my introductions about my project called um, uh, Intel 8051 core based microcontroller based on the Intel 8051 core and here it is power on and see this LED and the LCD Well, this is a simple uh, demonstration uh, of the program that I'm trying to share to my friends and to anyone out there who is interested to uh, learn a simple programming of a microcontroller, making use of the uh, um, <coughs> sorry again, popular Intel 851 core that is designed by Intel. Um, this is the microcontroller that I'm talking about. Uh, this is the standard 8051 core, which is basically code compatible to all uh, um, 8051 cores that uh, are manufactured by uh, Atmel, uh, Intel, what else? Uh, other uh, manufacturers who are uh, uh, producing the Intel 8051 core, standard 8051 cores. And uh, this is one is the project for the. Um, Arduino platform, the A squared tab or A tab. Here it is. Tab. I brought with me my development board in here. I got the uh, Arduino Uno here, and then I bring also a TFT LCD for the development of my aided project. I won't forget it even I'm traveling. I modified the program so that the blue LED will blink, and here is the instruction. Uploading it and then uploading. There you are. You can see that the blue LED is blinking at the rate of one second. The system that 
make it. And we're going to stop uh, the uh, UUT, stop uh, and uh, give you an error here. Let's see. It says uh, overheating and the error is uh, zero. Let's have another example. Again, in my playground in the amplifier, if I would like to uh, turn off the amplifier at a specified time, turn off means uh, putting into deep sleep mode. Uh, that means um, no sound, the standby current is a very, very minimum. Let's say, for example, that I open my uh, amplifier at um, 10 o'clock in the evening and I wanted to turn it off at 12 o'clock midnight because that time I'm already sleeping. So, without the knowledge of microcontrollers, uh, you may not be able to do that uh, by simply making use of a one-shot uh, a timer that you can do with LM555. More technically speaking, you may not know that uh, in your house already, you've got uh, several microcontrollers uh, in your house, uh, your refrigerators, uh, washing machine, uh, um, a TV, Wi-Fi, uh, remote controls, um, whilst, uh, uh, I could think also of the, uh, did I say washing machines already? Uh, radios, uh, MP3s, uh, MP4s, including your mobile phones, they are all uh, running by a microcontroller. So for me, as a hobbyist and DIYers um, with my playground as amplifier, it is very important for me to know at least to program a microcontroller by turning on a relays, turning off a relays, uh, and uh, display uh, on a 16 by uh, 12 CD or 20 by 4 CD. It's very important to make my hobby uh, better than the others without making use of a microcontroller. So I would say that uh, in today's uh, ever-changing and challenging world of hobbies like me, it is quite important that uh, you need to know how to program a microcontroller, how microcontroller can be used to leverage our project. We've got a lot of connectivity device now and the Internet of Things or IoT. It is quite popular now. So I guess that's not only knowing about microcontroller right now, but how or knowing to know how your project or how your project is connected to the Internet. So I'm saying that uh, the fun right now is not actually with the connection, with the use of the microcontroller to correct your project, but it's now how to connect your project uh, into the World Wide Web via the IoT concept. That is the fun now. And for the um, Internet of Things, uh, simple controls of the, this LED over the Internet. So currently on the dashboard, uh, this is the on-off switch, uh, which is uh, the camera is not focusing. <laughs> Uh, well, anyway, I'm going to push this button and um, take a look at the LED. And there you are. And it turn off. Press once again. And it turn on. Guys, uh, my engineer Tandan Baby is uh, demonstrating the uh, LED. <laughs> Say hello. Hello for demonstration. Yes. Well, um, hobby is uh, electronics hobby is um, very nice and very funny, and uh, it gives me a lot of uh, happiness uh, when I do something. I fulfill my job. Uh, in uh, what I'm talking about, it gives me a lot of happiness when I make my project uh, um, running and uh, better than the others. Uh, well, uh, it's really nice to have the hobby of electronics. Uh, uh, nicer than to have having a hobby of, uh, you know, uh, finding your uh, your extra whatever extra there. I'm very proud to say to everybody that um, uh, being a hobbyist in electronics uh, is uh, really fun, self-fulfilling, and it gives me a kind of continuous of education and 
the kind of attitude toward my uh, work, my hobby, and to my family. That's something that I can proud to anybody. Look at famous places like Notre Dame, um, the famous uh, Notre Dame here in Paris. Uh, I found this from the movie Hans Bank of Notre Dame. I hear that they speak in Chinese. Uh, yeah. Let me join the Chinese. Let me join the Chinese. <laughs> Hello, everyone. It's uh, wow. That's pretty. It struck me. Um, this is take two. Hello, everyone. It's Ferdinand Dandy here, and welcome to Paris, France. Uh, this place is called the Louvre Rivoli. Oh gosh, uh, what's that? That's uh, an ambulance. Why it's a spot and it's taking to my video? Wow, guys, I'm gonna signing off uh, uh, from uh, the Hall of Paris here. Yeah. The Eiffel Tower is uh, in there. It is being blocked by the tree. And I wanna leave and I wanna say goodbye to you guys. Uh, uh, something that I learned in Paris is called uh, Merci beaucoup. Here is a toast for you guys. Uh, Merci beaucoup, Saigon Paris. Uh.